Hey my beautifuls, welcome back to another vlog. Right now I am currently in my hometown of Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And I am here because we are giving my mom a surprise birthday party. She's kind of a little suspicious, but she doesn't really know like exactly what's going on. So I'm gonna get some footage from that. Um, Y'all, we have these cute pink birthday shirts. Let me see, let me show you what it says. It says Janice's birthday squad. But, um, I am dressed and I had to put this robe on because she won't know until we actually come out and she sees the shirts. And even when she sees the shirts, she won't really know. She just thinks we're having like a little kickback at one of her sister's house, one of her sister's houses. But um, it's gonna be a big deal. So there's like a DJ, plenty of food, and just, it's gonna be a big party. But um, so yeah, this is the look. I just got my curls fresh and cute. Did this hot pink lip. And I'm gonna show you all these cute boots that I will be wearing, honey. Because we had to wear these pink shirts um, with some shorts and some pink boots. And I got the cutest little cowboy boots, cowgirl boots, if you want to say that. Um, so I'll be wearing that tonight. So I'm gonna show you all those. So this is the boot, honey. It's not a long boot, okay? Um, it's like a calf length pink boot. I did get this off of Amazon. Um, I want some um, different longer cowgirl boots, but I just needed some pink boots in a hurry for the party. So this is what I'm going with. And I don't know, I just think it's super freaking cute. It's got a low heel. It's got some cute little designs there. The calf is a little wide for my leg, but um, overall, it's still a nice look, and I like it. I forgot to show y'all. This is the bag that I will be wearing with it, the Pink Coach Pillow Madison. Um, I forget which size this is. It's the smaller one. Um, I am wearing silver jewelry, but it has this gold hardware, and it has this gold and pink chain, but I don't care because you know what? I didn't realize that the shirt is like pink and silver and white and I was wearing silver jewelry and this is the bag I brought the other bag is black I'm not gonna wear it so I'm mixing metals once again you know your girl is good at that so this is my mama hey mama say hey to my YouTube family this is my stepdaddy bug ain't she cute ain't he handsome Yes, y'all. It's her birthday. It's her birthday. Y'all see where your girl gets your good looks from, honey. And there's the hubby. That's my handsome hubby. Yes. Hey. <laughs>
It's been a minute, y'all. I am back from Louisiana, and today is Wednesday. So I have not gotten any footage over the past couple days. For one, I've just been exhausted trying to recover. Y'all saw the video. Y'all saw the turn up that we had from my mom's birthday party. It was just incredible. It was so much fun. Y'all, in Louisiana, if you don't know, we get lit, honey. We get super lit. That's just what we do. And so, I had to recover from that. Plus, I was catching up on some work and stuff. Because prior to um, that, we were in New York for the previous week. So, oof, child. Y'all saw all of that. There's a car came out of nowhere. I'm like, what? Anyway, people driving crazy today. But I'm paying attention, you know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, prior to that, we were in New York for the week, and it was a lot going on. Had a nice break, but wasn't working that week. Then the week after that, I worked a few days, not even every day, and then was just getting ready for this birthday party for my mom and traveling again so I'm tired just from traveling and I had a lot of work to catch up on so it was a combination of both of those things but I am back and guess what y'all I am headed to I think Walmart and then maybe that smart if I need to to get some supplies for my new kitty I'm super excited I'm picking up my new kitty today I have been wanting a kitten for a while um and I'm going to get them today. So, I was on the fence about getting two because the girl that I'm getting them from, um, she's a girl my daughter knows, and she breeds them. And she was like, oh, I have two boys and a girl. You can take both the boys. So, I was really considering getting both of them because I do eventually want another cat because I know they're happier in pairs. But right now, we don't have any pets. Um, and so, I, I figured, let's start with one. I mean, I really didn't want to break up the pair. But I need to start with one, just because just getting readjusted to having a pet in the home, it's a kitten, so it's a lot. It's not a full-grown cat. And so it's like having a baby, and I'm like, okay, I can't really take like twins right now, because it'll feel like having twins. So I'm gonna get adjusted to this one. And then, I don't know, I might get back with her and see if she still has him. If she doesn't, then eventually I am going to get a second cat. But I'm excited about that because I'm going to get some stuff for him. His name is going to be Simba. How cute, right? So I'm, I need to go get Simba some stuff. I already have a lot of toys. Um, I ordered like a cat tree house. I got some scratching poles. I got, I am going to get some more blankets, a litter box, some litter, some food. And I'm going to see what else they have. Oh, I'm going to get some new bowls for feeding. So look, if any if any of you are watching this and you have cats or kittens rather, let me know like some things I might need um, at first, you know, while, they, while they're little. I have had a cat before, but I've never had a kitten. Um, I've had dogs. I've had a rabbit. I've never had a kitten. And I know it's different than having a full-grown cat, which I had adopted from a neighbor who was moving and her new place didn't allow her to have pets and so I got this cat years ago and I didn't even have him long because the cat for whatever reason could not stand my youngest daughter Kaylin was like three at the time the cat was always going after her trying to attack her I didn't know what the reason was and so I had just adopted this cat I did not have like a strong bond with this cat yet um, and so it was easy for me to say, child, you gotta go. You're not about to be attacking my child. Anyway, I am headed to Walmart. I'm about to park now. So I'm gonna do a little kitty haul and kind of show y'all what I got. Um, if I'm not too wrapped up in kitty, cause we're picking Simba up today at 1230. We got the kitties. We ended up getting two. The other one is still in the little carrier, not wanting to come out. I imagine this is our second one. So Simba is the quiet one. I believe this one is going to be named T'Challa. But I can't right now tell them apart from looks, only personality. 
So I'm about to spend some time with the little, oh, here's the other one. Hey, the other one's coming out. Hey there, little one. I see you. So yes, y'all, I did end up getting two cats. I know I had just said, I'm going to start with one, but they need a companion. Got back socks. Oh, which one is that? Symbol you think with the longer back socks? Mm. So cute. They are little. They're seven weeks old. They're just exploring their little environment. <gasps> so cute. And one of them was so noisy the whole car ride home, and now just silence. One of them supposed supposedly feisty, and one of them shy. <laughs> Y'all, this cat has climbed all the way up this chair. <laughs> he is definitely adventurous. Climbed all the way up from the side of the chair all the way up. Ain't even seven weeks old yet. Look at him. He was thinking about jumping over there. <laughs> Let's see. Can he get down? He might hurt himself. Hey guys, I am back and today is Thursday. I am super exhausted. It's been a long week, y'all. You saw my cute little precious kitties. When I tell you, I feel like I have two newborn baby twins with all the joy and all the fun but with all the stress and all the exhaustion honey they are so freaking adorable i'm gonna show y'all some more footage of them in a minute but anyway i just had to take a breather um y'all check out this cute little headband i got from the dollar tree a while ago when i did a cute little uh girly pink haul and um I decided to put it on today. I just thought it was cute. I am about to make a what's in my bag video with the pink. Hey, sweetheart. Come here. Let me show you the people you. This is Simba. Simba, look. Say hey. Say hey. <laughs> so, they do follow me everywhere. Um... Today, however, is their first day coming upstairs. Normally, they stay downstairs and they play or whatever, but today they came up. Um, So, yeah, this is a cute little headband that I got from the Dollar Tree, and I absolutely love it. But I'm about to make a what's in my bag, Um, and the bag is pink, and I love pink, and I wanted to stick with the theme. So, I got a cute little pink headband. What, baby? What the matter? What's the matter? Okay, he might be hungry, so I'm gonna gonna go feed him. But it's the um the pink basket weave bag that I got out of the H and M Times Square in New York City. So I'm gonna do that today. Today is also date night, so I'm gonna have to ask my son to babysit. Yes, the kittens need to be babysat, y'all. They get into everything. When I tell you, it's like having I'm not gonna say newborn babies. Newborn babies in the sense that it's constant attention, constant like cuddles and love and all of the good stuff, but they get into everything. So they're almost like, I guess, toddlers, I would say. They're like toddlers who can jump and climb. <laughs> so got to keep my eyes on them, but they're a lot of fun. So yeah, tonight we're going on date night. I'll get some footage from that. I'll let hubby... Um, now hubby said, I can't I can't think. I'll let my son babysit. Um, but they've been a lot of fun. And y'all, I just they're so relaxing and calming. When those little kittens climb on my chat, my chest, my lap, my whatever, and they fall asleep, it is the most relaxing thing ever. I literally fall asleep with them. My husband felt was getting sleepy, falling asleep with them, my son. Um if you're a cat mom, then you understand that. I've had a cat before, but never had kittens. But they're just such calming, relaxing, and fun pets at the same time. Which is why we chose to get kittens. Um, we are going to get a dog. But for, for now, we just wanted to stick with this. 
But listen, also, when I say stress related to taking care of them, there is some a little bit of stress. But it's not the same as just that everyday kind of stress and anxiety that I tend to deal with at times just from being overworked, overproductive, um, dealing with my own stuff, overthinking, just just being me, honey. Just being me comes with a lot. And um, I tend to be a very anxious person. With the little kitties around, it's only been like a little over 24 hours and not even, not even because we got them at noon yesterday. And um, I don't know, it's just I feel a sense of calmness like internally. So I guess the stress related to caring for them is external stress, but internally I feel more peace, calmness and less anxiety. So if you struggle with anxiety and stress, get you a pet if you don't have one. Um, any type of pet I think is good. I particularly like having cats. So anyway, I'm about to stop rambling so I can see if these little kitties are hungry and then I'm going to make my video and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Hey y'all, I'm about to put on these cute little coach hoop earrings. I made a short, not too many people saw it, but I got these from the coach outlet. They were on sale. They were under probably under $30 um, or a little over. I don't remember the original price, but I know I paid no more than like $35. Um, the, val the suggested retail value is $118. And when I got it, it was, on, it was already on sale and then they had one of those extra 40% off or whatever. You know, if you are a coach outlet, insider they seen those texts and they're like one day only you know extra 40 percent off so i could not pass that up so i went on the site to see what they had y'all aren't these cute so it says coach so i'm gonna put those on and show you how they look on my ear i have not worn them yet um like i said i did show them in a short but not wearing them so i'm gonna put them on and i'm gonna wear them today because i think they're really freaking cute um i love a hoop and let me see this one feel like it feels like i like a little more resistance it has one of those little closures where you kind of press it down into the little slot but it's not giving me much resistance and i'm, I'm afraid it's gonna fall out of my ear but you know maybe it won't Ooh, that's cute honey let me put in the other one y'all and then see how that is looking. See, this one's giving me more resistance. I can kind of hear it. And it's harder to open, which is what I like because, you know, you don't want the earring to come out your ear. But I think I really like these. They're so cute. Yeah, I heard that one go in. Mm, baby don't mind the hair honey she is going to be washed and done tomorrow today it just is an old wash and go it's doing whatever but these are so cute look how it says coach right there and then of course the same on the other side but i like these because not only is it a nice cute gold hoop but it has a twist on it by giving you the whole coach um, logo. So, I don't know. I think I'm cute. I'm cute. I think they're cute. I think I'm cute too. But what I was trying to say was, I think they're cute. So, I do like them. I'm about to do an unboxing, y'all. Um, first, I'm probably going to change and throw on whatever dress I'm going to wear today. And do this unboxing it will be a part of this vlog. I was going to make it its own video, but I'm just not. Because, why? You know, I can just put it in the vlog. I am going to do what's in my bag with this bag that I'm going to unbox. So, I'm going to do that. So, you guys, um, stick around. You'll see that in just a little bit. Y'all, these are the kittens fighting on the stairs. They are literally fighting on the stairs. Check them out, y'all. One of them fell. Luckily, they were able to use their little claws to 
hold themselves up. But these boys want to fight on the stairs. They fight a lot, y'all. Stop it, boys. So this is the kitties. They're eating their food. This is day four with them. Um, got them on Wednesday. Today is Saturday. And they've been so much fun, y'all. I just never knew that I would just love these little things so much. And they're making a huge mess, but they're just adorable. Hey, y'all. I am back. I am about to do my unboxing. So I put my hair up. Um... I don't know it was just a hot mess so just had to refresh my curls a bit literally with just water and I think the Shea Moisture Curl Stretch Pudding I put on there um, the back is just in a low bun not doing too much but I did want to do a little something um, and I like the fact that my hair is up because you can see these cute little coach earrings I was just showing y'all so if any of you saw my Kurt Geiger um, what's in my bag video I think that was the black well it was the black um, XL Soho Kensington bag so I love that bag so much I went I brought it to New York that was the XL maybe even the XXL so it was huge but I brought it to New York with me I traveled with it it was big, it was spacious, it was soft and quilty. It's a quilted bag. I just enjoy carrying a bag so freaking much. And I just want another one. Now, I love Kurt Geiger London. I do want to want some of his, like, real creative, colorful, sparkly bags. Because he has lots of those. But I also wanted to start with the basics because I'm really trying to begin my Kurt Geiger bag collection and I wanted to start with the basics. I always wanted the black quilted Kensington and I wanted um, the tan one which I did get. So this is the box right here that it came in. I saw this bag on I think Macy's. I think is where I got it from. Let me get my scissors because I can't open this thing without my scissors. But I saw this bag on sale at Macy's and it was like maybe half off. Now, I got both of these bags on sale. I got the black one for about half off. I got this one for half off. Both of these bags are over 300 I know that. And for both of them, I paid, I don't know, between 160 170 which I thought was a good deal. I was going to get these bags anyway. So at the time I got the bag, I was like, do I really need to get this right now? But because I know I want this in my collection, I'm like, yeah, go ahead and get it, girl. You're not going to catch it at this sale price probably for a long time again. When I go on the Kurt Geiger site, I'm going to open while I'm talking, y'all. When I go on the Kurt Geiger site, you know, the bags are never on sale. <laughs> I'm not going to say never. Um, let me turn it this way. Sometimes the bags are on sale, but it's not the bags that I want, and these particular bags that I do want are usually not ever on sale. So, y'all, y'all saw the footage of my little kitties. They are so freaking cute. They're so much fun. I'm so glad I got a pair. I was going to get one. I think I probably told y'all this before, but just watching them play together and enjoy each other's company they're just happier and it's just good to see because they're kittens they need a lot of attention and i give them a lot of attention but they also get it from each other y'all i'm about to open this it. it's going to be loud the scissors wouldn't even help me so i'm gonna take out this box ow I hate opening packages, even though my nails look like crap, because I haven't done much to them since I took the um, press-ons off, and I'm trying to give my nails a break. Ooh, I love this bag, y'all. To be honest, when I got my first black Kensington bag, this is the one I wanted as far as size, but they had the XXL on size. I think this one's just the large. So when I got the XXL, I was like, okay, I'll travel with it. Um, and I did more than just travel with it. I was able to 
take the bag. Use it just as a regular bag as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and then show y'all what it's looking like. Well, I'm like, let me get the bag information. Oh, that's not information. Uh, I never ordered a Kirk Geiger bag from Kirk Geiger's site. So I don't know if you get a dust bag. But I can say that I'm not gotten a dust bag with my, oh, that's not true. I got a dust bag with my black one. Maybe it's inside. I can't remember if my dust bag was inside or not. But honey, this is the beauty. Tell me this bag ain't freaking beautiful, y'all. Now, you know my black quilted Kensington had all black hardware. So I had the black eagle with the black straps, y'all. Oh my goodness, I'm in love with this bag. I've been wanting it for so long. This is the black quilted Kensington in the large. Now see, this is... A much more reasonable size the bag I got um, oh I don't like the way the coat is looking on the camera it's a pretty tan color y'all it's not it's not like a like a brown greenish color like it's looking on the camera but the first one I got it was so let me go ahead and take the packaging off um, it was so huge but I still loved it I still loved it like I said I was able to fit a lot but this is the size I originally wanted now, I was also unsure when I got the first black Kensington bag if I wanted, let me try this out. I wasn't sure if I wanted the gold hardware or the black on black. Be now, the scissors going to come in handy because I'm trying to get this out. Now, because, I'll show y'all once I get everything on. Because I don't really have many black on black bags, most of my black bags have either silver or gold hardware. Most of them, most of them are gold, but I have some with silver. I wanted this black on black, and so that's what I got. So I'm gonna open her up. I got that long plastic thing off the strap, and it was so irritating because it took so long. Um, this is how she looks inside. I'm gonna take the stuffing out. Looks like the dust bag is in there. I have to remember that the Kurt Geiger dust bags um, are inside the bag, which I guess I can appreciate that, right? I think, don't most bags come like that? Mm, yeah. <laughs> anyway, this is how it looks. It says Kurt Geiger London. So I'm going to take the stuff in out just to show y'all and then I'm going to put it back. But this bag is so freaking cute, y'all. I'm telling you. I might have a new favorite bag. Um, I love a nude bag, too. I love a nude colored bag. I wear a lot of nude heels. I'm wearing nude heels today. But today I'm wearing a pink bag. Because I'm still in my pink H&M um, bag that y'all saw. I'm still in that one. So let me see. So it's so cute. So this is how it looks. It has this little flap here. So this is how it looks. It has the flap. It has really one strap. You can wear it like that as a crossbody. Or you can pull this second strap up and you can wear it like as a shoulder bag which is typically how I wear it I don't think I've ever worn my um, other Kurt Geiger Kensington as a crossbody it was too big this is even too big I really only crossbody small bags so you see it has this little quilted textured front with the eagle in the back it's just a solid very soft and that same quilted material inside says the Kensington right there and it's got two compartments you see the um, lining here it's like a satin lining it says Kurt Geiger it's got this little side pocket here and and also on the pocket it has some more I don't know if y'all can see it it says Kurt Geiger and has some more information about the bag. Um, oh, it has a nice little, I guess, mission statement. Uh, Kurt Geiger, London, inspired by our city. We believe in self-expression, authenticity, and distinctive design for the individual who wants to channel their true self. Design is what we do. Kindness is 
what we are. And I love that. I love what this brand stands for, which is another reason I support them. Um, you know, the, the meanings of the eagle, if you know what the eagle represents. And I just, I really like it. But there are some amazing Kurt Geiger bags that I want. And so I'm going to be just getting more bags. I'm excited about my collection. They have a lot of colorful bags. They have a lot of pinks. They have a lot of real girly type of stuff. So I'll be getting those things next and I'll be showing y'all. But I just had to show y'all this cutie right here. And I will likely be using her as my next bag. So stay tuned for a what's in my bag with the Kurt Geiger Kensington in the new color with the gold hardware.